back to Manila. Now we came to the airport. Uh, we are taking the flight from P2. As usual, the flight is late again <laughs> by one hour. We have to see if it arrives with one hour delay or not. We still have to see that. We got our boarding pass and we also dropped our luggage. We just have to wait for the flight now. We don't know why all the Philippine flights that we took were delayed. Did you watch our Tumalo Falls vlog? If you haven't, watch it right now. And we reached Manila. We collected our baggage and now we need to take a taxi to reach our hotel. Just 8.30 am in the morning and this is the hotel that we are staying for the night. As it is very early in the morning, they didn't let us check in so we just kept our baggage at the reception and started on our way to SM Mall. Autos in Manila are exactly the same as in India, isn't it? The long jeeps that you see are called jeepneys and they are not vehicles but emotions for Filipinos. It is day 8 and it is our last day in Philippines. We want to make the most of it. We are now at SM Mall of Asia. This is the third largest mall in the world. This shopping center is constructed in about 5 million square foot. That is really big. We are on the go since 4 am in the morning and we didn't have any time to have our breakfast so we thought of stopping here for brunch first. We came to Mang in Asal and this is a very popular barbecue fast food chain in Philippines. Since it is Monday today, we couldn't really have any of their barbecue chicken varieties but we laid our eyes on Halo Halo. When we were eagerly waiting for a dessert to arrive, we saw that even Filipinos use their hands to eat. And here comes our Halo Halos. They look so yum, right? It was so yum. It's so creamy and so delicious. This is one of the best desserts we have ever eaten. Let's go inside and find out what all they have in the largest mall of Asia. This boba milk tea store is from Taiwan, Taichung actually. As soon as we saw this carousal, we were just as excited as the little kids. So here we are buying the tickets for the carousal. When we look back at our childhood, we'll find one thing that is common for all of us. We just wanted to grow up. And when we actually grow up, then we crave for that childhood innocence, excitement and stress-free life, right? That is exactly what we try to experience every time we travel. After the carousal ride, we came across this store, Kultura, which not only does look beautiful, but also has everything from handmade Filipino artifacts, homemade decor, fashion statement pieces, delicacies and what not. Have you ever played this slingshot as a kid? Do let us know in the comment section below. Pradeep told me that he had played this game as a kid. This is called Sunkha in Philippines. What do you call this? Stores like this are so attractive to me that I can spend hours and days together. We came to Goldilocks in SM Mall. This was suggested by my friend again. This is a very popular bakery chain in Philippines. These sweet delights have variety of flavors and are very popular among the Indian students here. We were so tired from all the roaming in the mall. This mall is definitely shop till you quit. You know what I mean? We are at the food court now. We have to search for vegetarian options again. This is the place where you will find best flavors from around the world under one roof. We find an Indian restaurant anywhere we go. Indian restaurants are everywhere, right? 
We really like the decor here. It's so simple and yet so elegant. Dessert is mandatory after the spicy Indian food. And look what we found. It's so hard to choose one, isn't it? Even though I'm sure that they'll taste amazing, these names definitely seem funny to us. We are going to the Venice Grand Canal Mall right now. This mall is known to be the most romantic mall in Philippines. Let's go and see how beautiful it is. First, we'll go to the main attraction of this mall. This is the Grand Canal. This looks exactly like in Venice, isn't it? What have you done in Venice Mall if you haven't ridden the gondola? We got the tickets. We felt that it was a bit pricey but it's once in a while experience so I think it's okay. Wow, this is so good. It actually feels as if we are in Venice and we are riding this gondola, isn't it? We chose a group ride, so it costed us about 1000 pesos. The ride is so amazing that we didn't realize that it was already 30 minutes and we are going back. Do you think that wishing wells actually work? Let's try it out. If these wishing wells were real, what would you ask for? Do let us know in the comments below. This place is so good to just buy a drink and enjoy its ambience, right? You can also go around the Venice Mall in this toy train.
If you didn't know already, this is the traditional carnival costume in Venice. Even though this mall has a lot of stores for shopping, we didn't even go to one store because we were so mesmerized by its Italian beauty that we were just admiring and appreciating the mesmerizing views. The best time to visit this place is around 4 pm and you can stay till 6 or 7 pm until the lights are lit. This way you can have the best of both morning and evening views. This Venice mall marks the end of our Philippines trip. We hope that everyone gets a chance to visit Philippines at least once in their lifetime. Even though we enjoyed our Philippines trip a lot and didn't want it to end, we were really tired because of all the travel, the sleepless nights to get to places and the videos we had to shoot for the YouTube. We really need a good rest when we get back to our home in Taiwan. Until then, stay tuned to our channel for new videos and please do subscribe, share and comment. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.